Well, my name is Antonio Rodriguez and um, I'm the Guide Services Manager at Front Range Junglers in Boulder. And uh, today I'm going to tie for you uh, a green caddis pupa. So today I'm going to tie a caddis pupa. Uh, I'm going to use the C300BL from uh, TMCO. So you can buy at Amqua. Um, a thread, I'm going to use the Vivus, uh, a Vivus thread chartreuse uh, to start. I'm going to use an olive on top of it. Um, so here I'm gonna build the under body with the with chartreuse thread, and then I'm gonna use also some uh, midge tubing olive on the top of it. Uh, the cat is. Pupas usually are fat bug. Uh, the larva will be thin, but then they will grow up and it'll have a big, a big fat butt. So I'm gonna build it with the, with this thread. Gonna twist the device like this. It's easier for me to work with. tubing to cover it this body that I just built the midge tubing gonna give you a nice segmentation here on the fly itself now to build the the wing case, they're gonna add some brown scud back. I'm gonna tie it up here. Now I'm gonna change thread to tan. Now for the for the upper body or for the thorax, I'm gonna use some SLF olive. This is exactly exactly the color. This one this is like a damsel olive, but you can use any any other olive that adjusts to this to this vibe. By the head, I'm gonna use a little bit darker color. And now I'm gonna use some uh, natural uh, CDC to add some fibers. Those fibers will give some. Uh, natural movement to the fly. mess that I have up front here. And now I gotta pull those that uh, scud back to the front here.
just gonna finish it. Trim the CDC fibers. I don't want them that long. So they have this kind of like an, some natural legs from the that stage that the, the larva is becoming a caddis pupa. Now what I'm gonna do instead of a head cement, I'm gonna use some uh, lone UV clear, and I'm gonna build a little bump on the back here. So I didn't use any lead or bead on it to make it lighter. So it's good uh, as a second fly on a two nymph rig. Mm. 